You know what I have a really hard time understanding? And this is for a variety of reasons. The first one is, and Louis C.K. said it best, you are flying on a plane. The fact that you're even getting onto a plane in the first place is a slap to God and evolution's face every time that you do it. If you can't handle the fact that sometimes things take a little bit longer than expected, feel free to hop in your car and drive 36 hours to Mexico. Oh, you're going to visit your family in Ireland? Why don't you just hop on a boat for three months? You know why these things happen? Because if they didn't, you would be dead. Everyone loves to complain when their flight is delayed for whatever reason, but you have no idea why. Not because they're evil. Not because they're trying to inconvenience you. You are getting angry at people that are trying to prevent you from dying in a fireball of jet fuel and metal shrapnel. Every time that a flight gets cancelled or postponed, do you think that there's a bunch of dudes that look like the Monopoly man sitting in a room together just laughing and stroking their mustaches being like, Just got another idea! Well, we're at it! Why don't we make the flight have an emergency landing in Milwaukee? Now! <laughs> Jeeves, you are right! Wouldn't it be funny to ruin all these people's vacations by cancelling the plane for three days? <laughs> This one woman was on CBC today, basically losing her mind, saying, The airlines should answer for this! And people were agreeing with her. Did one of the pilots forget to pray before he took off and God got really offended by it? Did they break up with Mother Nature? The weather? The shit that comes from the sky? Is not their fault. What do you want them to do? What do you want them to do? Do you expect the CEO of the airline just walk out onto the runway and be like, Oh yes, I forgot. My time at Hogwarts. Ding! Ice cleared. Everyone's free to go now. You know what would be great? Is it just one day out of the year, they decide to fly all the planes anyways. But just that one day. Forgot to fuel up. Whatever. Brake line doesn't work. <laughs> Don't even look at any of the flashing lights. And they just all fly. Everybody flies. And then the next day the headline would be, Everyone in the air crashes and dies. And then from that point onwards, we'd always remember that specific day as Airline Safety Day. Imagine how much worse it was to be stuck in an airport 20 years ago, before you had your cell phone. Basically every single person in the airport right now is like, I hate the best flight scare, that's just wanna go in the sky, good time. And I can bet you with 98% certainty that every single person in the airport right now, the second that they get off of their plane, will go home, sit on the couch, and go on Facebook and Twitter, and just bitch about how boring their life is again. So really, you're just doing what you'd normally do anyways. I get it, I really do. I've been on canceled flights, delayed flights, and emergency landings myself. But I realize at the end of the day, the reason that they make these decisions is because I don't want to be trapped in a tube 50,000 feet above the air, screaming as it plummets towards the earth in a fiery ball of explosions. Or you could just keep being a dick and give me more to bitch about. <laughs>